Hi guys. So, how was everyone's Memorial weekend? It was hot here. It <coughs> is still hot. Today is Oh jeez, what's today? Thursday. Thursday. Um, I believe. <laughs> and yes, it's still hot. It's breezy today though, thank goodness. It's supposed to cool off this weekend. It's supposed to be in the 70s and nice. Yeah, it was <coughs> hot. It was uh 92. A couple days and oh that's a scorcher in Michigan <laughs> we're not used to that weather so yeah today I have to clean up my deck I shared on Facebook that I got this um, outdoor rug looks like it's supposed to look like grass and look at this let's see I don't know if you can really tell let me come over here and face the camera the other way but yeah, mess all over my table, my chairs. Of course, this big tree would have to be a, a tree that produces those, what I call helicopters. I'm sure everybody else does too. I think it's called a silver maple. Yeah, so of course this tree had to be a helicopter tree and make a mess all over the yard. I've been using my leaf blower I, I blew these off two times yesterday. <laughs> I think it's almost done. I think they're almost all off the tree. Um, so I'm going to um, get my leaf blower out, blow these all off, and I mean, it's just, I hate them. I hate them. Can you guys see, look at, our, look at the grass. Let's see, let's zoom in. See all those? I mean, it's the whole yard. And I feel like I just want to vacuum the yard. <laughs> I just, I just hate it. It's my OCD. And then I have some, I have two tomato plants, two pepper plants, and a zucchini plant over here. Uh, I was going to plant them right in the dirt, but I knew my dogs would jump this and mess with them, so I put them in pots. Um, and then my son has a tomato plant right here that I put on the table because he's been sitting it here on the corner. And we had a storm last night, and I didn't want it to fall over. So I got to get some gardening gloves on and I don't know if those helicopters will affect my plants or not. If there's any like acidity or I don't know. I don't know that much about them. But I'm going to get them out of there and uh, clean those up today. Yeah. And kick this ball for Mickey. <laughs> Let me get the leaf blower, blow this off and show you how great it, it just uh blows these off and because a lot of people were worried how would I clean this um, if the dogs have muddy feet it is very easy to just use the blower blow this stuff off and if there's any dirt or anything which it hasn't been bad so far because a lot of the Magnum what do you got what do you got over there this camera makes him seem so far away from me but he's not oh he's got a big piece of wood must have fell out of the tree <laughs> Yeah, he killed the bird the other day. Yeah. So, I'm constantly looking to see what he has. So, um, yeah. So, a lot of people wondered if it'd be easy to clean. It is. You just sweep it right off. And it has helped. Um, when the dogs walk up here to come in, if they do have any kind of dirt, it's, it's lessened how much dirt is on their feet. So, that's a good thing. And, as you can see, there is some sun. Some people wondered if it would get terribly hot. It is 11 o'clock right now. It gets some sun right now. But as the sun moves, as you can see, it's right on the edge of my tree here. It's going to be in the tree more. So 90% of the time, there is no sun on this porch, really. And it's in the early mornings that there's any sun. And then usually this tree right here, it's just filling in with its leaves. It's behind this too. So it hasn't gotten too hot at all, even on those 92 degree days when it was sunny. So they've been fine that way so let me clean this off and show you how easy it is to clean Okay, always need help from Miggy and Magnum, right? <laughs> they always want to attack my blower. 
Why do you always want to attack my blower? Okay, so got everything pretty much blown off. It's still a little wet out here, like my table. There's still some stuff stuck to my table. I need to clean that with some cleaner. Um, and there's little pieces here and there because it was wet out, but pretty much all cleaned up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll have to do it again today because uh, there's still some on the tree. But uh, yeah. I'm really liking this little piece of carpet and I can walk out here with no shoes on. I don't have to worry about slivers from the deck because uh, as you can see, the like I said, the paint is peeling off the deck and I'm not dealing with it since we rent. Um, and when somebody, when I mentioned we rent before, someone asked me, how did we find a landlord to rent to us with five dogs and a cat? <laughs> and I will say that we were very lucky very lucky to um, find a landlord who has seven dogs himself. He has seven dash hounds. Dash hounds are his thing. And he loves animals and uh, he didn't care. He came in uh, one day, they were, uh, they had to have something done to the house. I think it was, uh, I think the garbage disposal wasn't working. Something, something was going out the sink and I had the dogs in their crates and he said, where's the dogs? I wanna meet them. So I said, are you sure? And they came out and they were just all over loving on him, smelling his dogs. So yeah, we were very lucky because a lot of people do not want people living with them who have pets. And I had even told them, hey, I have a YouTube channel. You can you can check it out and um, see how great we are, you know, keeping the house picked up. We don't let our dogs destroy stuff. Um, and he's like, no, 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 don't worry about it. So yeah, he's a great guy. He's also a Flint police officer. Uh, he retired and missed it and went back. Um, and there's a there's a show on Netflix called I think it's called Flint Town. If you want to see um, how rough those police officers have it there in uh, Flint, um, but he missed the job and actually went back and um, served the community again. So he's he's a great guy. Okay, so I'm gonna finish um, doing what I got to do out here, and then I was gonna show you how I um, clean up their not clean them, but spray down their beards and get them combed out for the day. So we'll be back. Okay, I'm going to um, brush down Miggy's beard. Yes, because every day when they wake up, their beard is like sticking up. He's got this little, um, I don't know if you can tell, turn to the side. He's got this little like, it looks like a horn. These like little curly cues. Can you see that? I can't tell. <laughs> but I just kind of wet there. It's, this is what I do when I don't wash their beards. I just use this um, water bottle I got at Sally Beauty Supply and it just sprays a very fine mist. So that way some squirt bottles just squirt right in your face. Um, and this just doesn't mist and they don't mind it at all. Actually, Magnum will try to drink the water from it. <laughs> so I just, and I just use a couple different combs. Um, this one I got at Sally Beauty Supply. I mean, they're really cheap, like, I think it was like 20 or 30 some cents. I'll use this sometimes, or I'll use one of these uh, steel combs. I got this at Meyer uh, just to comb through their beards. So I just take their faces and I give them a mist. Oh, and I see, I just gave them their dental treat. And look at, there's a piece of, uh, dental treat in his beard that he was saving for later. You want that? You want it? It's right here. You want that you were saving for later? <laughs> You're gonna eat it? Oh, it just fell on the floor. Somebody else will probably grab it. Well, let's check. You gotta check your dog's beard for stuff. I found ants in their beard. Um, Miggy had a green bean one time in his beard from uh, when I was growing green beans and he ate them out of my garden. Yeah. <laughs> so you never know what you're going to find in their beard. And I just kind of slowly comb their beard because you don't want to rip their hair out. You don't want to hurt them. And then after this, I take my um, handheld blow dryer, the one I use for my hair and um, 
kind of give it a blow dry because if they're wet and then they go and they lay funny, their beards are just going to be messed up again. Hold on, we got to close. Sorry if I'm in the camera, guys. It's kind of hard to find an angle. I figured I'd use Miggy as my model because Miggy, ever since he was a puppy, sit down, hates his beard getting brushed or combed. Anything. He hates it. He wiggles, he squirms, does everything he can to not get his face brushed. <laughs> yes, he does. He just can't stand it. He don't mind if you brush anywhere else. Just not the beard. So now I'm going to take my, um, so it's kind of combed out. It's not too crazy. There's no snarls. And a lot of people ask me from keeping them matted and stuff, you got to brush them every day. Um, especially if you leave their coat long, you got to brush them every day, sometimes twice a day, um, to keep those mats out. That's why I keep them short uh, most of the time, even in the winter. Not this short, usually in the winter, but I keep them short because when they get wet constantly in the winter, it's it will mat eat so quick. So, yeah. So let me get my blow dryer. And I'm just going to put it on. Let me see what I put it on. This is what I have. It's a Wazer. And it's got a medium heat, which does not get hot at all. And then I'm going to put it on the low setting and just give them a quick blow dry on the beard. perfect like when you groomed them or when you get them groomed but it looks a whole lot better than it did when we started let's see can you tell a difference oh <laughs> I'm trying to turn your head I'm just trying to turn your head to show them can you guys tell here Miggy look up looks a lot better looks like that little curly cue wants to keep happening right there on top there yeah a lot better so that's how I tame the beard every day. It don't last long. It doesn't. <laughs> that's how I tame it. Okay, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.